Welcome to this Windows channel and this is part two, understanding a little more about the controlled folder access in the Fall Creators Update. Great feature, unfortunately this part will show you where it falls short of being really amazing. They could do so much better and you'll see why. Now, control folder access is within the uh, Defender. It's a great, great tool to really, you know, protect your PC against malware and against, you know, viruses that might encrypt files because it just lets you um, turn on a controlled access to the different folders. That means without permission, no apps can change anything in there. So when you turn it on, of course, you've got protected folders. I told you on the last video, the main folders, documents, pictures, videos, music, desktop, and favorites are there. You cannot remove them. These are default. They're double because they have the ones in the public folder and the ones in your own uh, user account folders. There are two of each uh, folders. Now, you want to add a folder. I've created a folder on my desktop called Important Documents. I want to protect that. How do I do it? Simply click Add a Protected Folder and simply go and navigate with the File Explorer to where you need to go. So I want to go to the desktop. I'll go here. And here I see, oh, Important Files. Click Select Folder. It's going to ask you, you want to add it. And you see it's now added to my list of folders. And you can do that with as many folders as you want. And the cool thing, you can remove folders that you don't want to protect anymore, or maybe that won't exist anymore. Simply click on the ones you've added, click the remove button, it's going to remove it without any problems. Where it gets a little complicated, you want to add some, because, you know, when you turn that on, one of the things you're going to understand is that a lot of your programs are going to say, I can't work, or I can't modify something, or I can't something is wrong. And the reason why is because if they actually have to get access to one of the folders that's protected, it can't suddenly. So you gotta do something that's called allow an app through controlled folder access. This is the bad part of this uh, controlled folder access. When you click here, all you have is this. It should, and I think personally that would be the great thing, show you an app list. Like when you go into apps and settings, you have all your apps and programs in a list, alphabetical list. That's how this should be, not like this. But anyways, right now it's like that. And um, I've sent a feedback hub request for this to be changed uh, to have an app list to make it easier to use. So now you're wondering, OK, but where do I know where an app is? You know what? The easiest thing you can do is look at the app that you want to protect. So for example, I'll say I want to protect this thing here called HDSDR, which is a software that I use. Now, how do I know where it is, where I can actually find the executable? Because that's what you got to uh, give permission. Right click on the software and go into properties. It's going to show you program files, h86, HDSDR, and HDSDR.exe. So I need to go to this folder here. So how are we going to do that? Well, Okay, just remind, remind yourself of where it is. Click Add an uh, Allowed an App. Now you'll go to the C drive because you know it's C drive. You know it's Program Files x86. I saw it. Uh, folder is HDSDR. Oh, here it is. And look at that HDSDR.exe because it's the executable that you want to add here. And I'll click Open and click Yes. And now this app is allowed. It's an allowed app. It can do modifications. It can do whatever you want. That's also another thing that you'll need to understand. This controlled folder access, although really cool, can really, really be complex if you have, like me, a lot of programs. Because there's tons of software that even if you don't you know, save anything, they automat automatically save some of the stuff within these folders without you even knowing about it. So it can be cumbersome to actually have all of that working. But if you are, if you want to stay secure, if you want to play the game and, and really make sure that, you know, only con controlled apps are going through the controlled folders, then add all of these apps. I'm sure there are apps you won't even know that they need access. Well, slowly add them as you are using them 
to uh, make sure. For example, my Cam Studio that I'm making video with, I have to add it because Cam Studio will not save my video files now if I don't do it. So I, I need to go to add a file. Once again, add a, a software um, and, and go into here. And here I'll have, you know, maybe Cam Studio somewhere. I don't know. Well, you know, use that little trick that I've just told you about to know if you can add Cam Studio, how to add a piece of software. So any software you want to add, just right click on it and make sure that, you know, for example, if you want Mozilla Firefox to save um, files or pages within documents, or you'll have to give it access. So I'll right click, I'll go to properties. Okay, program files, Mozilla Firefox, uh, Firefox EXE. And that's where we're gonna go. You go to add an allowed app. We'll go to C drive, program files. We'll go to Firefox, uh, Mozilla, sorry. Uh, and then we'll go to firefox.exe, that's somewhere, I guess, in here. I think the, there we go. Click open, click yes, and I've added Firefox. And you do this with every app that you might need to have something saved and the folders, the, uh, the controlled folder access. So it's a little long to do at first, but if you do it well and you do it with all their apps, and of course, uh, this could be cool. And of course, you can click these apps, remove the apps, remove the access from these apps. So it's a little complex to do, I have to say, but one thing that's for sure is for your own protection and taking the time might actually save you from a ransomware encrypting your files or programs. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.